Hi everyone, I got another episode of the copy vlog for you. This one's going to, oops, I don't want that, there we go, I want that in full screen. This one's going to focus on printing though, uh, and specifically printing, doing some more advanced adjustments in the print menu. Uh, this document I have pulled up here, of course when we printed it, we noticed that these light grays didn't show up. And uh, I can't I can't show you that um, with this screencast function. So you just have to trust me that the light grays look just like the whites, and it's causing us all sorts of headaches. I was working with our Xerox rep today, our tech, and he showed me how he fixed that from the print menu. And so I'm going to go into the advanced print menu here. So of course I got I'm working with a PDF. In the preview application, I'm going to go to Xerox Features, and then I'm going to toggle to my image options. And note, I got my print quality on color, or on standard, and of course my um, Xerox output for the document is set to color. So in this image options menu, I'm going to go into the customized color. And there I want to do color adjustments. And here I can manually adjust the color. And that's what I did with this document. It was down here, the lightness was down here at zero. And when it was, these grays weren't showing up. So I bumped it to 50. I did a test print and the reds were still a little soft, like not quite Almaden Country Day School red, you know, that more of a dark red. So then I came back and I bumped the contrast from zero to um, negative 25, just kind of, you know, adding some more contrast in there. Uh, and when I did that, it worked. So the, the lesson here is to, you know, uh, go into the image options menu, of course. Don't be afraid to play with your custom color adjustments. Make one adjustment at a time, for example, and start, you know, if it's a, a lightness, darkness issue, start there. Um, do a print, see how it looks, then do another adjustment. You know, if it needs to go a little darker, do another adjustment. You need to add some contrast, add some contrast, but make an adjustment, an adjustment, do a test print. And then once you find your settings that work for you, uh, then do your print of 200 or 50 or, or whatever it is. Uh, so, so I hope that helps. Um, Folks printing colors uh, or flyers that you know where these light grays might not show up the the way you want them by default. Um, so this it, you know color adjustment it, menu from the image options uh, section of the print driver uh, should help you get the job done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this print because I've printed several of these and I don't. Got the one to, that I like it working and uh, in this screencast. So I hope this helps. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.